So this incredible energy that him and I shared and this question that he asked me about my self-worth, at that moment, I only knew that it was hard for me to answer. I didn't learn to weigh down the road about the lack of self-love that made it hard to answer. But let's first talk about the stages of an awakening and where I was, which was stage one. Let's talk about that for a minute. At this initial stage of the spiritual awakening journey, one exists deeply within the realm of the ego. It's a state of being where thoughts and emotions govern without conscious awareness. The individual identifies closely with these thoughts and feelings, believing them to be an integral part of who they are. The ego holds a tight grip, leaving little room for a separation between the self and the subjective experience. In this state, individuals may find themselves reacting to life rather than actively shaping it. The sense of control is limited, leading to defensiveness, anger, and negativity. Life seems to unfold as if predetermined, and any encountered trauma reinforces a belief in a lack of control. The individual becomes entwined with their personal narrative, viewing life as something that happens to them rather than something they actively create. Seeing others is challenging during this stage as perception is filtered through the lens of one's own experiences and projections. This lack of clarity hinders genuine understanding of others, fostering a skewed view of the world. The unconsciousness stage is characterized by a deep entanglement with the ego, blurring the lines between the self and the external world. The journey towards spiritual awakening begins with this realization, acknowledging the need to break free from the unconscious patterns and explore the deeper layers of existence. It marks the starting point for the evolution towards greater self-awareness and connection to the profound aspects of the human experience.